it's been quite a lot of years since we Indians acquired and got rid of the taste of a station wagon. We first saw the Audi RS6 come into India, but that perhaps was a little too expensive. And then we have this, the Volvo V90 cross country. And I should say, it's quite a wonderful comeback. of this car. The front is very reminiscent of the S90 sedan plus a bit of that plastic cladding to add to the cross-country off-road feel. It has a new design of the fog lamps, some air vents to cool down the brakes. It looks particularly handsome when standing still, just like the S90 that we had. Volvo has thrown in some delicious looking 20 inch alloy wheels to the Volvo V90 cross country and they just look magnificent, just so breathtaking and I think it just adds up to the oomph factor of this car. Volvo S90 sedan ends up till here and what we have to get acquired to is this big cargo area which is extending quite a bit so much so that it is as long as the XC90 SUV that's quite a thing let's come back to the rear uh, I think this is the most beautiful looking rear end of any car besides even the state cars that we have here in India and it also has particularly sizable boot and it has this very soft carpeting wherein you can keep your very expensive Swarovski shopping bags. It's a good thing. I'm particularly a fan of the front of the cabin of the V90 cross country because of the sheer quality that this interior exudes. We've got a perforated leather steering. We've got parallel shifters that we were missing out on the S90. Stainless steel inserts on panels everywhere and also on the side of the dashboard. The leather, the stitching, everything feels and smells so expensive that you stop realizing that this is not a car that crosses one per rupee mark. The seats have a massage function and you can select from swell, tread or advance programs. You can select the intensity and the speed of the same. And you can have a nice spa time while driving through the busy city traffic. So let's talk about the space that most of you who would be buying this car would be spending most of the time at. It's the rear seat. We've got ample amount of leg room. The thigh support is marginally good. The back support is incredibly good. The seats are designed by orthopedic surgeons in Sweden. So the overall support is very, very good. There's quite a lot of storage space as well. We've got a very nice and cushy central armrest which has cup holders which can accommodate one litre bottles. It's got a four zone climate control system and at the rear there are different controls for both the passengers and the fan speed as well and they are particularly efficient because we have a central air vent and we also have air vents on the B pillar which is quite a good thought. It's got this huge touchscreen in the middle and absolutely no buttons in the cabin. So this touchscreen includes your navigation, your sound system, your 
Bluetooth telephony and also has sound experience wherein you can choose from studio, individual stage and their in-house Gothenburg concert hall mode which does make you feel that you are sitting in during a concert and not inside your car. There is no finish on all the rotors, on the screen, on the infotainment system, on the central console, the engine start button, on the drive mode, which look very, very expensive indeed. So the engine is the same 2 litre unit, but with way more horsepower than the S90 extract and it is very very quiet indeed because of all the insulation that we have on the engine cover and on the inside of the cabin you barely feel or hear anything which is out of order this car is very relaxed on highway journeys you don't feel lethargic because of all those elements being cut out from the inside of the cabin. So, the suspension setup on the V90 consists of coil springs in the front and air suspension on the back. It does make the ride very supple on slow speeds and very confidence inspiring on higher speeds but it also helps in the Indian context because while you're driving and all of a sudden you do not see a bump or a porthole approaching you and you suddenly break it minimizes the chances of breaking down your air suspension setup and giving you those huge service belts very well thought so we've put the car into off-road mode. What we have in front of us is a fairly rough patch. It's got quite a lot of undulations on the surface. And kid you not, not every car can do this. But we've got the Volvo V90 Cross Country and it's 210 millimeter ground clearance, which is much better than most of the uh, SUVs that we have in the market. Also as good as the Hexa that I have. Um, it's driving on it pretty finely. Um, it's very comfortable. It's got the rear air suspension, so I don't feel too much of the undulations. It's a very relaxed way of doing rough roads like these. Wonderful. The Volvo cars are known to be overly engineered with all the safety goggles as standard in the car. It also has the autonomous driving system. As you can see, it's fully autonomous mode. Uh, this car drives itself. Like you just have to pat sometimes in between. But uh, yeah, otherwise, it steers itself. It just does everything. See, this is my left hand, and it's steering itself. This is way too cool, way too cool. And see, there's the cars in the front and uh, you just have to keep on tapping in between and it'll break itself as well. See, it just detected that there are cars in the front and it has started breaking already. To distinguish it further from the S90, it has a very large panoramic sunroof as standard. Talking of very large though. The 90 is particularly long. So much so that it has been an intimidating factor for the people on the road which were driving besides me. Just for scale, I'll stand beside it and let you know how long it is. It's huge! Why? But I was being a bit nitpicky there. The Volvo V90 Cross Country is extremely robust, supremely comfortable and is very very practical indeed. And at 63 lakh rupees ex-showroom, 
it feels and looks twice the money that you spend on it. Also, Volvo cars are known to be over-engineered and the safest cars in the world. And with that comes the ever-growing sales and service network for Volvo Cars India. So, is it a good purchase? Yes, indeed. If you have your heart above your head, this thing ticks every box that you can imagine of. Cross country, it's going to do off road like a coyote. I shall not give up on the rough surfaces that the ending is going to throw at me. I'm a Swedish, you Englisher. Mm -hmm. 